Welcome back to Linux Network. The GNOME project has officially released the release candidate of the upcoming GNOME 47 series for public testing. This marks an important milestone as the RC version typically proceeds the final release and allows both developers and users to identify and fix any last minute issues before general availability. Although this release was delayed by one week, the GNOME project has packed it full of new features, improvements and bug fixes, making it a highly anticipated release for GNOME users. So, let's break it down. GNOME 47 release candidate follows two weeks after the beta version and introduces several substantial improvements aimed at refining the user experience across multiple areas of the GNOME desktop environment. Among the stay-down features in this release is the introduction of experimental color management protocol support within the Matter Windows and Composite Manager. Matter is the default window manager for GNOME and handles compositing, window management and rendering. The addition of color management protocol support is a significant enhancement that will improve how GNOME handles color-sensitive tasks, which is especially beneficial for professionals working with visual media who rely on accurate color representation on their displays. Moreover, GNOME 47 RC adds initial Pipewire Explicit Sync support. Pipewire is a multimedia processing engine used for audio and video streaming in Linux environments and Explicit Sync is an important feature that can help ensure smoother and more reliable audio-visual synchronization. This addition promises improved multimedia handling which is critical for applications like video conferencing, media playback and audio production. The combination of Pipewire's growing presence in the Linux ecosystem and GNOME's commitment to supporting modern multimedia technologies shows a strong alignment with the future of Linux desktop environments. Another notable change in GNOME 47 RC is the exposure of the new Backlight API to the GNOME settings daemon. This API provides more granular control over display brightness which is particularly useful for users on laptops or devices with adaptive brightness capabilities. The ability to expose this API to the settings daemon makes it easier for the GNOME desktop to manage and control screen brightness in a more seamless manner. GNOME 47 release candidate also focuses on improving performance and enhancing compatibility between different components of the desktop environment. For instance, Cursor smoothness under load has been improved which means that when system is under heavy load, the cursor will continue to move smoothly without stuttering or freezing. This is an important usability enhancement as it makes the desktop experience more fluid and less frustrating for users who multitask or run resource-intensive applications. Another critical fix is related to drag and drop functionality, which is now smoother and more reliable between X11 and Wayland clients. Drag and drop are fundamental desktop interactions and GNOME is addressing some long-standing issues in this area. In particular, the GNOME 47 RC fixes drag and drop operations between clients running on different display servers like X11 and Wayland, ensuring that users can easily move files and content regardless of which graphical backend their applications are using. Additionally, this release fixes a problem with dragging and dropping from grabbing pop-ups which previously caused issues in some user workflows. Other significant fixes in this release includes better support for EGL device, an interface for rendering 3D graphics on Linux systems. This update resolves various issues related to hardware acceleration which can benefit users with newer GPUs. For users with hybrid machines that experience freezing, cursor issues, non 47 rc brings specific improvements to address these problems ensuring better compatibility and smoother operation for hybrid systems that combine integrated and discrete graphics. DRC also fixes issues with touch window dragging when pointer lock is enabled, which affects users of touch screen or touch pads. This fix ensures a more consistent experience when dragging windows using touch inputs. Display configuration and scaling are critical aspects of a modern desktop environment, especially with the proliferation of high DPI displays. GNOME 47 RC brings new features to this area, including support for storing the display layout mode in the monitor configuration. This improvement allows users to save their preferred display layout settings, making it easier to manage multi-monitor setups or switch between different display configurations without having to reconfigure everything each time. Another major enhancement is the ability for scaling aware X WLAN clients to scale themselves. XWayland is a compatibility layer that allows X11 applications to run on Wayland display servers. In previous versions, scaling for X11 apps running under Wayland was inconsistent, especially on high DPI displays. 
With this release, Scaling Aware X Wayland clients can now handle their own scaling, leading to a more consistent and polished experience across applications. Nautilus, GNOME's default file manager, has also received substantial updates in this release. Among the new features in Nautilus 47 is the introduction of a Choices menu in the file chooser. This new functionality allows users to make selections more intuitively when choosing files, improving the overall experience during file-related operations. Additionally, the file chooser now supports dropping items into it, streamlining workflows that involve selecting and moving files. This improvement is part of GNOME's ongoing effort to make file management more intuitive and user-friendly. Another welcome addition is support for the background menu in the file chooser, which further enhances file management by providing additional context-sensitive actions. Nautilus 47 brings the ability to vertically scroll in the pad bar, making navigation through deeply nested directories more convenient. This feature is particularly useful for users who deal with complex folder structures, as it allows them to easily scroll through and access different directories levels without needing to expand or collapse each level manually. One of the more practical updates in this release is support for extracting bzip2 tar files. Tar files are a common format for compressing and archiving data, and bzip2 is a widely used compression algorithm. The ability to natively extract bzip2 tar files in Nautilus is a much appreciated improvement for users who regularly work with compressed files, removing the need to use the command line or third-party tools for extraction. GNOMEWeb, also known as Epiphany, has received several notable improvements in its 47 RC version. Web app installation has been enhanced, making it easier to install and manage web applications directly from the browser. This is in line with the increasing popularity of progressive web apps, PWA, which offers the convenience of traditional desktop applications, combined with the flexibility of the web technologies. Additionally, password management in GNOME Web has been improved with better CSV password import capabilities. Users can now import their saved password from other applications or services in CSV format, making the transition to GNOME Web smoother for those migrating from other web browsers. Similarly, the browser now allows users to export their passwords to CSV, providing an easy way to backup or transfer saved credentials. Other improvements in GNOME Web includes updates to the bookmark sidebar and dialog, as well as a fix for a crash that occurs when closing multiple tabs. These updates contribute to a more stable and future-rich browsing experience within the GNOME desktop environment. The GNOME Control Center, also known as Settings, has seen various performance and stability improvements. This includes faster loading times for wallpapers in the Appearance panel and a fix for a crash when handling invalid app permission in the App panel. These seemingly small improvements contribute to a smoother and more reliable user experience when configuring system settings. In the user panel, GNOME 47 adds a new dialog for confirming the removal of user fingerprints, providing an additional layer of security when managing biometrics data. Similarly, the Wi-Fi panel now has a fix that prevents crashes when unplugging removable Wi-Fi adapters, ensuring more robust handling of network devices. All around, the GNOME 47 release candidate represents a significant leap forward for the GNOME desktop environment, with improvements spanning performance, usability, compatibility, and multimedia support. By addressing long-standing issues and introducing new features, the GNOME project continues to refine its vision of a modern, user-friendly desktop experience for Linux users. For those eager to try out these changes, the GNOME OS 47 RC ISO image is available for download and can be tested in a virtual machine with UEFI support, such as the GNOME Boxes version from FlatHub. As GNOME 47 approaches its final release, it promises to deliver a polished and futurish desktop environment for all types of users. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.